Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm an apprentice at Sharky's Paradise. So last week, Santi, an artist in the tattoo shop, let me do a little eyeball with wings on her arm for some practice. Just learning, just working away over here. You like it? I'm so nervous. Would you be more comfortable if like my arm Because it's Santi. Like... <laughs> Chelsea, you're fine. Okay. Do you see this? I tattoo myself, bro. <laughs> I promise you it's gonna be better than those. <laughs> I got to practice my fundamentals and little whip shading. It's nice to do something a little different than lettering, so that was fun. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a good idea. I'll usually start from the bottom and we'll play it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so last week, my buddy Warren came in and his wife painted a B for their last name, and so he wanted me to clean it up, and he had it put right on his rib cage. So that was some good fundamental practice. <laughs> While Santi's doing your hair. What's up, guys? My name is Devin. I work at Sharky's Paradise. You can find me at slater.inks on Instagram. Uh, I don't know what tattoos I did this week, but I did a few. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Devin, I work at Sharky's Paradise. You can find me on Instagram at slater.inks. I did a handful of tattoos recently. This kid came in, I think he had like one other tattoo, so he was not a first timer unfortunately, but he was a fresh 18 years old and he wanted a super sick piece to start filling up his forearm with. And so we did a double headed snake and I really like how that design turned out. It was super pretty, super like soft grays throughout it. The white really made it pop. It was a super fun tattoo to do and the kid sat great. He did a really good job as well. Um, sometimes my coworkers and I will come in on our days off and get tattoos, even though that's not the plan. That's just how it goes. So Santi came in and we decided to give her a cool little, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would call it a traditional piece, but like sort of. This guy crying with some red tears to go with the whole red and black theme she's got going on on her leg. That one was super fun. That was a pretty tattoo. I really like doing that one. Santi's cool too, I guess. Take a quick break. Okay, um, I also did an infinity sign on this lady's forearm for her uh, niece who had passed away. It was a super pretty tattoo. I was really glad that we got to like switch it up and make it for her so it's a little bit more of a unique design than something we pulled off the internet. So we got to switch it up, make it so that it really represented her niece and it flowed very pretty and the butterfly was super pretty. It was her niece's favorite colors. That was a really fun tattoo. I liked doing that one as well. Hey, how's it going? This is Eric over Sharks Paradise. Had some fairly fun pieces this week. Thanks for tuning back in to check them out. I'm doing this today on the forearm. Oh, sick, good. I like that line right there. Yeah, it's nice, huh? This week we got to do an astronaut skull falling back into space. It's the first stage of that tattoo. We're gonna go in the background, back it out with some nice black and gray swirl. He wanted a design on his ribs, but being first tattoo, ribs are a really hard spot to get. Not that I'm trying to change anybody's idea of what they wanna get and where they wanna get it, but moving it over to the forearm, it just oriented well and it leaves his ribs open to get future pieces. Then we also did a filigree skull on a coworker of mine, also working on part of her sleeve. Stay fucking still, Kevin. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were doing stuff. Fuck. So, 
In another note, we also like to spend some time tattooing each other in the shop. So we also make sure that those of us who are giving tattoos understand what it's like to get a tattoo. So I'm pretty positive that our man Hector really enjoyed his time in the chair getting tattooed. Spencer, Captain Lighthand is what we like to call him. I think he really enjoyed it. And I thought it was crazy. <laughs> Just shut up, well. you're making me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> You fuck off, bro. This is how I do this shit, man. This sucks. <laughs> Every time the needle touches your skin, you're like, fuck. Dude, like I said, man, I hate this shit. Don't ever tattoo me, man. I'll bitch. And I got to do a piece on Hector, one of the other apprentices. I got to do Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. He's a comic book character from the same creator as Invader Zim. So that was really fun. There was a lot of leeway in that with like, you know, line variants and whatnot. And that was super fun to knock out. All right, give me a breather real quick. Holy uh, f let me get more comfortable. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna be available here in just a little bit because I'm setting up to tattoo right now. Spencer's working on that. Uh, bro, did you just drop my machine? Bro, what the is that? It was already there. Did you break down? No. Come with me. Uh, I need you guys to focus on these and make sure that you guys get these knocked out because I'm going to be unavailable. Keep <laughs> going, Spencer. <laughs> hey, my name is Hector, and I'm an apprentice here at Sharky's Tattoo. Uh, fun tattoos I did this week was for a returning client of mine. He had gotten a spaceman behind his neck and uh, it was more of a tattoo of him wanting to express himself, being a little bit more free with his individuality. I had also done a snake wrapping around a rose on one of my client's forearms. He really wanted a cool tattoo and he wanted an original design and that's what I gave him. So another thing I did at Sharky's Paradise is I had returning clients that are a couple and they came in to get matching tattoos but not the same designs. Uh, one had gotten a bull skull with a flower coming out of its eye with a feather hanging off of one of the horns. And then her boyfriend had gotten a geometrical astronaut falling down on his forearm. Both designs were definitely unique and fun doing. What's up, dude? You're looking extra stylish today. Go dance. You got like, like this. ninja moves? Yeah, yeah. Go like this. Go like Do this. you pop it and lock it? <laughs> oh, let's see. Damn, that's pretty good, dude. Thank you. This week was a really fun week. We had a first timer. She got a Powerpuff Girl along with her friends. My co workers, Christian and Devin, did the other two. Wild. What is on? Wild. All right, so with those Powerpuff Girls tattoos that we all got to do this week, because we got them all in the chair at the same time, got them all started at the same time. I did a Powerpuff Girl. Three friends, three tattoos. Uh, we all did them at the same time. And all finished within about five minutes of each other, and they're all about the same size, so it shows that we're all fundamentally sound and kind of on the same track when it comes to line work, shading, and everything else that may come along. her first tattoo. She was pretty scared for it, but we knocked that out. Her friends were super excited to get their Powerpuff Girls with her. It was super fun. The energy was really good for the whole tattoo experience. Nice transition, bro. Nice transition. Woo!
uh, last week's art project was uh, Hot Rods. And Spencer told me about this super interesting movie that he remembered called Hot Rod. Hey Sharky, you ever seen the movie Hot Rod? No. All right, you gotta check it out. It's pure gold. It's about this aspiring stuntman who has a like lawnmower engine strapped to a bicycle and it's about him trying to raise money to save his stepdad whose heart is failing. But he just is the worst stuntman ever and just completely eats shit at every turn. It's fantastic. So as you can see, super interesting story. Yeah, not much else need be said on that. Okay, I won't look. I chose a design for this week's project. Which is? Which is Hot Rods from the 90s, I mean, 50s up to 70s. So what is it that you're doing here? I'm doing a hot rod from the 60s. What is it? Do you know? I don't really know, but it's from the 60s. What, what hot rod are you working on this week? Oh, I don't know. Is that a 2022 poodle? It is, yep. <laughs> a miniature poodle. <laughs>